Why am I doing this? Oh my god. Oh. Oh. What's up and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I went from this to this. So I'm a DJ and I started streaming on Twitch in February and honestly, I totally underestimated how much time and money you need to invest in your equipment in order to streamline your visuals. I've pretty much had laggy visuals the whole time and it's almost been impossible to manage my stream on my laptop. So thanks to my wonderful subscribers, I was convinced to build my very own PC and I decided to live stream the process. So I'm going to break down the spec for you now and then show you some of the highlights from the build. <sighs> feeling very overwhelmed right now, probably should have phoned a friend. So for my CPU, I have the Core i9-10850K and the reason I chose this one is because from what I've heard, it's better for streaming and also you can use your PC without a GPU. And in case you've been living under a rock, there are no GPUs anywhere on the planet right now apparently, so that was an easy decision. For my power supply, I've gone for the Supernova 550GA and this one's fully modular, so I'll have a bit of a tidier situation with all the cables inside my PC case. The queen of the show. For my motherboard, I have the Asus Z490E gaming motherboard. Comes with Wi-Fi, supports my CPU, um, so I really had to upgrade the motherboard from what I was initially gonna get. But it also happens to be the sexiest motherboard I found on my search, so I suppose that justifies it. CPU cooler. Now for my storage and memory, I actually bought these right at the very beginning when I was planning to do a much more budget build. As you can see, that plan kind of went out the window. So I got the WD Blue SSD 500 gig for my memory and then for storage, I've gone for the Corsair Vengeance 16 gig. And I know that I can upgrade those down the line if I need to. Okay, it should come with the cooler and if there's no thermal paste it's a no-go okay start with the motherboard <laughs> i'm getting so stressed out why am i doing this i'm just doing a little box shimmy under the table be right back oh my god <laughs> I've just found everything. Everything. Oh my god. What the hell? Why is it like hidden in the lining of the box? <laughs> that needs to be facing the ram sticks. Oh. Oh. Fans off. Remember the fan is facing before removing it. Okay, so little update. The stress is very real right now. I've been standing for a long time, but I have got my CPU cooler in, CPU, the memory, the storage. We're nearly there. I'm just gonna do a test with the power supply and then I'm gonna put the heatsink back on and fit everything into the case. So I am super tired right now. I was just streaming for like three hours, um, but it was really fun to get everyone involved. It was really overwhelming, like trying to follow instructions and speak to everyone and make sure I'm not doing anything wrong. But I'm nearly there now. I just need to test the power supply and then pretty much put the motherboard and power supply in the PC case. One step closer. I was up super late last night on the Discord with everyone trying to get through the final stages and we basically connected everything to kind of do a test before I fitted it to the motherboard and the monitor wasn't picking up any signal from the PC. So I was super stressed out and we were troubleshooting everything. And then I realized this morning that I hadn't pressed the on button on the PC. So that happened. Anyway, then we managed to get the motherboard um, QLED light showing. I'm still learning all the terminology. <laughs> but thankfully then we were able to troubleshoot a lot easier and I was having issues with the RAM. Just spoke to Just Style and I just hadn't pushed the RAM in like hard enough. I thought when the bracket clicks in that means it's fully in but you really need to like push it across the whole RAM. So basically 
I'm set up now, I'm getting signal in the monitor, I just need to fit the rest of my fans properly and then we should be good to go. This is where we're at so far. Damn. So I've just learned that fans need to be on the open side if they're on the front or the bottom of the PC and on the grill side if they're on the rear or the top of the PC so that you have your airflow all going in one direction. Learning a lot on this journey, but yeah, anyway, I need to switch around one of my fans um, and then put the rest of them on the top. And we're nearly there. glory my very own custom built PC and of course I've been extra and added my branding too. The build probably took me six or seven hours over two days but that was broken up with chatting in my discord and on my twitch as well and I definitely couldn't have done it without everyone's help. So I'm going to show you some clips from my streams before and after so you can see the difference it makes having the new PC and also it's worth noting I haven't even upgraded my camera or changed any of the settings on my OBS yet so there's probably still room for loads of improvement. Thank you so much. First tipper with the new overlay. Look at that. Shit up! Woo! So there we go, well worth it. And if you're thinking about building your own, I would definitely recommend it. I've broken down the full spec in my description and I've also dropped a link to my Discord if you wanna jump on and have any questions about the build. Thank you so much everyone for watching, a special thanks to those who helped me every step of the way. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. I will be back soon with some new content. Big love.